What you guys got another video here for you now a while ago i made a video on how to remove the right protection on a usb flash drive or an sd card and some people have had some success and some people have had no success at all so i thought I'd make another video and show you some other methods that you can use to try and uh, remove that right protection now this method i'm going to show you here with disk part will format the drive and you will lose that data from that drive uh, so be warned if you try this method okay but what it could possibly do is recover the drive and make the drive usable again and if it's a, a drive that you want to use again and you're not too concerned about the uh, data on the drive then use this method so let's get started so first off we're going to be opening up our disk part and we need to open up command prompt for that so I'm going to go right click on the start button command prompt admin and this will open up uh, the user account control options I'm going to say yes here and you can see mine is red, yours will be black or whatever color you got yours. Generally it's black by default. You should see administrator command prompt at the top there. Now once we've done this, we need to open up disk part. Uh, now I've got a microphone in front of the keyboard, which makes it difficult, but I'm gonna try my best. And we're gonna do disk part, all one word like so, and push enter. This will open up the disk part uh, tool inside uh, Windows, which has uh, been around for a long time. Now, once we've done that, we need to list all the disks on this computer. So we're gonna go list and disk, space like that, and you should see all the drives listed here. Now, this is the one we want to use, which is uh, disk free, and we're gonna select disk free here. So the way we do that is by going select uh, disk, just like so, and we need to put the number in. Now, if yours is number two, you just change the three to a two, and you should be pretty much good to go. It should say disk, uh, whatever the number is, is now selected. And uh, once we've got that, we can now remove any attributes on this drive. So we're gonna type attribute, like so, disk, clear, and read only. And this will remove anything that's on there like that. Uh, remove the read only uh, attribute if it's on there. And you can see it's cleared any of those attributes. Next, we need to do clean, and this will clean the USB drive. And you can see here, this part success, uh, succeeded in cleaning uh, this disk. Now, we're pretty much uh, getting near the end here. So the next thing we want to do is create a partition primary. So we're going to type in here, create partition uh, primary, just like so. And that should now create a partition primary on here. Should see succeeding in creating the specified partition. And the next thing we need to do is format that USB flash drive. So we're going to type in here format space, and we're going to do fs equals fat32, uh, just like so. And uh, if you want to do a quick uh, format, you just type quick at the end. If you want to do a long on drawn out format you could leave it like this but we're just going to do a quick one for this video i'd advise you to do the long more thorough format but i'm just going to do quick and it should do this very quickly now uh, we'll take a bit of time now obviously if you was doing the long one it will take a bit of time so you can see here successfully formatted that volume and next uh we're pretty much good to go now if you wanted to assign a letter e, you could use the assign command but uh, i'm going to leave it a uh, as default, it should assign that drive letter. If it doesn't, you can always uh, just assign a drive letter in computer management. So from here, what we're gonna do is type exit, like so, and push enter. And it's leaving disk part now, as you can see. And gone back to the normal command prompts. We could just close this off. And we should now see our drive. So if we come here, there is our drive, and the drive is now enterable. We can enter that drive and drop copy data to this drive and uh, use it uh, and that should be the protection removed for this drive now if this doesn't work for you i will post another video shortly to show you some other steps that you can take to try and rectify this issue but this should uh, pretty much get that drive back but again be warned that the data will be wiped on that drive and you may want to uh, uh, not do this if you've got sensitive data on there that you want to keep okay Anyway, I'm going to wrap this one up. I hope it helps you out. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, guys, then hit the like button. It really does help me out. Also, hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when we upload new videos. Also, if you've got problems with your computers, you can always head over to our forum or join the community over there. 
And that's pretty much it. And I shall see you again in the next video. Thanks again for watching, guys. Bye for now.